So are you moving to the Sacramento area and you're considering moving between Roseville and Rockland and can't decide which one is a better fit for you and your family? Well, today we're going to discuss the similarities and the differences of these two cities. And stay tuned to the end of the video as we're going to be giving you guys the biggest differences between the two cities that's going to have a huge impact on your decision. Let's get into it. What's up everyone, I'm Danny and this is my wife Shantae with Living in the Sacramento Suburbs channel. And we find that often when our clients are moving here, they're deciding between Roseville and Rockland. And we're gonna break them down for you. Roseville and Rockland have a lot of similarities, but also several differences. These two cities seamlessly blend together. So you'll often see residents of both cities utilizing each other's resources. Let's start this off with similarities. Both have excellent public schools as well as great charter and private school options. We often find when our clients are relocating here, this is one of the biggest factors that they're considering. We see people moving from our surrounding cities locally, from Citrus Heights and Sacramento. They move to get to the better schools as well as our out of area clients. Their number one thing when moving to the areas is always asking us, what are the ratings for schools? And it's nice that we have some great top rated schools to choose from in both Roseville and Rockland. Number two on our list of similarities is clean and safe. In addition to great schools, Bolt cities are very clean and safe, which is another reason why people are relocating here. We can attribute this to great city management of Bolt cities. Both cities have low crime rates. We recommend researching this yourself on websites and third-party resources like crimemapping.com to check out. We also have a lot of the police enforcement and fire department that live right here in our communities. So you can see them parked in their driveways. Um, they're part of the community. They do a lot for the community's hosting events, coming out to all the neighborhood events visiting the kids' schools, so you'll really feel um, safe. People are out walking on our trails at night when you come to these communities. In addition to the crimemapping.com, you can also visit the city's websites and go down to the police department where they do have their annual reports where you can see the crime statistics as well. Number three on our list of similarities between these cities is that they are both very friendly. With so many people relocating to the area and so much to do, we find that it's fairly easy for our clients to adjust, make new friends, and really enjoy their community. Especially in the new construction communities, there's a lot of new people coming in. It makes it easier to kind of make those connections with the kids as well as the adults. Number four on our list of similarities is recreation. Both have great parks and trail systems, However, Roseville is a bigger city, so it definitely has a much longer trail system, more robust trail system, as well as far more parks. Even though we are in Roseville, we love to go to some of Rockland's splash pads, as well as the very unique Quarry Park where you can zip line, rappel, and so much more. Both cities are a short drive away from Folsom Lake where you can enjoy boating, paddle boarding, or wakeboarding. You can even go mountain biking. Uh, we're a short drive to the American River Canyon where you can go white water raft, uh, rafting or uh, hiking, fishing, lots to do nearby in the surrounding areas. Since both cities are located between the coast and the Sierras, it's easy to take day trips to go skiing in Tahoe in the winter or to escape the summer heat to hang out on the beautiful Lake Tahoe, wine tasting in Napa, or visit the pier in San Francisco. All right, guys, so that wraps up our similarities between the two cities. If you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so that you're notified each and every time that we drop new content, all right? All right, so let's go again and get into some of the differences between the two cities. Okay guys, so the first difference between Roseville and Rockland is gonna come down to their size as well as their population. Roseville consists of three zip codes broken down into West Roseville 95747, Central Roseville 95678, and East Roseville 95661. Roseville spans about 44 square miles and is Placer County's largest city. While Rockland consists of two main zip codes, 95765 and 95677, 
spanning just under 20 square miles. Not only is Rockland much smaller in terms of its land size, it also has about half the population of Roseville. Roseville's population is about 156,000, while um, Rockland is about 76,000. And they also are both in high demand with annual growth rates of about 2% each year. Difference number two is location and the impact to your commute. Some of the communities within both of these cities are going to put you further away from a highway or a freeway. So if you're looking to commute to say downtown Sacramento or the Bay Area, or maybe you're going across town to Folsom, you'll wanna really study the commutes and see how that impacts you. Some communities are as far as 10 to 15 minutes off the freeway, or there may not be a great direct route to your work. We find that Rockland is a little deeper into the community if you are commuting, but again, you just wanna consider where and map it to where you go on a daily basis. Number three on our list of differences is the cost of the homes between both of the cities, all right? So a medium price home as of 2023 in Roseville is about 600,000, while a medium price home in Rockland is about 677,000. A great way that we can look at this difference in premium is to look at a new construction builder that builds in both Roseville and Rockland. They build the same exact floor plan and we can look at the difference in pricing to really see that premium that Rockland charged. So let's take a look at the builder JMC Homes. They have a 2,000 square foot single story plan that's offered in both Roseville and Rockland. In Rockland, this home is going to run you between $799,000 upwards of $939,000. While in Roseville, it costs just $729,000. That's a $70,000 premium to live in Rockland. Now, part of that premium is the fact that in Rockland, you can get some larger lots, normally two to 3,000 square feet larger. And the Rockland community offers some superior upgrade options and lot locations with views that can jump the price to that 900,000 range. Another difference it costs comes when you look at these communities, taxes, Melrose, and HOAs. In this case, the Rockland community has Melrose of $320 a month plus $84 in HOA, while the Roseville community has Melrose of $243 a month and no HOAs. So you can see, Housing affordability is a key difference between Roseville and Rockland. Number four on our list of differences is housing options. Outside the housing costs, both cities have differences when it comes to housing options. In both communities, you can find very established homes 30 plus years old, but there is a difference when it comes to new construction. You'll most likely find more new construction options in Roseville as it has a lot more undeveloped land and they continue to build, build, build where Rockland is almost reaching capacity on its new construction land. You'll also find some more affordable price points as we talked about the cost. So you'll find more affordable new construction options, uh, smaller lot lines that maybe start in that 600, uh, lower 600,000 price range. Rockland has some communities that offers amenities that Roseville communities don't have to offer. So for example, the Ritney Ranch uh, master plan community has a clubhouse as well as a pool. Rockland also has more of the higher end luxury builders like Tim Lewis, the new home company and Toll Brothers, which we haven't seen in Roseville yet. With the continued expansion of new homes in Roseville, we're hopeful to see some of these higher end builders start building here too. We just saw an announcement that new home company is coming here to West Roseville. Rockland also has some new construction areas that are located closer to the I-80. Whereas most of Roseville new construction is deep into West Roseville and you will need to travel 10 to 15 minutes to get onto the freeway. Rockland also has more options for larger lot homes and homes with a view since the terrain is very different than flat Roseville. Number five on our list of differences is the terrain. Rockland has a lot more character when it comes to its terrain than Roseville. What we mean by this is Rockland has a lot more hills, which means there's more homes with views, and as you drive through it, it just gives a really different vibe than the very flat Roseville. The exception is in East Roseville, we have a small area of homes that offers hills similar to Rockland with some views. Another difference with the land of Roseville is it's mostly a clay base, which is very hard ground during the drought season. But Rockland's history is around its granite rock base, 
and therefore the reason it has rock quarries. It sometimes is called rock land. This can be nice to have the granite outcroppings that add character to the landscape, but be prepared when you go to add a pool. It might come at a higher expense since that can hit the rock beds and that makes digging much harder. Number six on our list of differences is amenities. Because Roseville is larger, you're going to find more of the shopping, dining, as well as hospitals located in Roseville. Outside of the local uh, strip uh, centers, you're going to find most Rockland residents are traveling into Roseville for the premier shopping at, say, the Galleria or the Fountains, or they're coming to the hospitals um, for doctor's appointments and so forth. Now the nice thing about these major shopping centers is that most of them are on the border of where the two cities meet. So although it's located in Roseville, it is still fairly convenient for Rockland residents. When it comes to things to do or entertainment, you'll find most of the things are actually in Roseville. For example, we have multiple movie theaters, Dave & Buster's, iFly Indoor Skydiving, Sky Zone Trampoline Park, Sunsplash, as well as the Roseville Aquatic Center and the Mike Shalito Indoor Pool. Make sure you check out our video, Top 5 Reasons to Move Your Family to Roseville, which outlines all the amenities of Roseville. Alright guys, so we told you guys to wait around to the end of the video as we were going to be giving you guys one of the biggest differences that's going to impact your decision between the two cities and that is electricity when it comes to the utilities. Now, Roseville owns its own utilities, including electric, and they have some of the lowest rates in the state of California, starting at just nine cents per kilowatt. Whereas Rockland has PG&E for their electricity provider, and their rates run three to four times those of city of Roseville. So along with higher housing costs, you have to also consider higher cost of living with these higher utilities, which could impact your decision on which city you choose. This doesn't mean we wouldn't recommend Rockland, it just means that you probably need to do a little bit more due diligence and maybe find a home that already uh, has solar on it or be prepared to add solar to make sure that you can reduce that utility bill, if it matters to you. All right, guys, so that wraps up our similarities and differences between Roseville and Rockland. And to be honest with you guys, they are both awesome cities for you guys to choose from. Now, we're licensed realtors here in the Sacramento region, and we would love to help you further evaluate the differences between all of the suburbs, whether it's Rockland, Roseville, or the other great suburbs of Sacramento. We can help you find that suburb that's the perfect fit for you and your family's needs. So you got to give us a call shoot us a text or an email, even book a Zoom in the link below. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to the Sacramento region. We'll catch you on the next video. See, See you guys you. later.